In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play the song Nobody's Love by Maroon 5. This is played with a road sound. And it's one of those that it's important to learn how to play major at nine chords. And we have a video on that, which we'll post in the description. But one of the things that we see with this type of song is it has a good amount of black notes. And one thing that happens is if you're not familiar and you have never really played black keys, it can really be challenging. So take your time if you've never done that. But it's important to be able to do that because some songs are going to be a lot easier if it's mostly white keys. But in this case, we have a lot of black notes. So it's going to take some time. So the first one is a G flat major. And that's going to be with an added nine. So that's G flat, A flat, B flat, and D flat. And if you can see, I'm here on this middle C. So I'm a little bit to the left of middle C playing that first chord. All of those four keys go down at the same time and I would suggest do one, two, three, and five. Now that's gonna hold a little bit is until we change to the next chord. And to the next chord, you need to do a change of hands, which I'll show you in one second. So just play, play that one, hold it. One, two, three, four, one, two. And then you're gonna go. Now to do that, very important to do finger three on, uh, that's gonna be G flat, finger four on A flat, and finger five on B flat. Now, when you play the B flat, you're gonna play a chord underneath it, and that's gonna be D flat, G flat, and B flat at the same time. So, immediately followed by D flat, F, and A flat. So I would practice just that change, and do that multiple times, and get really familiar. Of course, I'm showing you the right hand first, is that I think the left hand is a little bit easier once you once you have it. So again, from the beginning, it will be one, two, three, four, one, two, and then it changes to this chord, which that chord is going to be A flat, D flat, and F. So there we do that change fairly quickly. You have to move from this one to sorry from this one to this one which is actually an inversion of a D flat major so once again I will practice probably that just this change and go that maybe repeat that multiple times slowly and get comfortable doing that switch after you hold the D flat major we want you to do finger three on D flat finger four on E flat into the chord that you played before which is A flat and D flat and F do this and then change to A flat, C, and E flat. So practice just that multiple times because that's gonna be the second part that it changes. Of course, it sounds very cool once you play with the left, which we'll show you in a second. So just practice that. And we actually change into the first chord. So it's almost probably functional to practice just that, repeating it. And do that multiple times until it gets clear. And with that, you pretty much have the right hand covered. Now let's talk about the left hand. The left hand is pretty easy. It's gonna be G flat and D flat. You're just gonna hold it. When you do this run, we play that uh, at the same time with both hands. So you're gonna do G flat and D flat, G flat and D flat twice. After you do this two single notes. So, so there you play twice. Uh, on that or supporting the chords that you're doing with the right hand in this case I'm just doing G flat and D flat for the whole uh, first part so it would sound one two three four one two and here I change to a D flat on my left hand so important to change with that one I would suggest doing this one with finger two because you're about to do a couple of other ones and for that you're gonna need to do a change so I think finger two here would allow you to already be in a position that is gonna be easier to move. Let me show you the next next part of the left hand. You hold that D flat, and then immediately followed by, you're gonna play B flat and F, followed by A flat and uh, E flat. So that sounds one, two, three, four, one, two. And those two, definitely, that's why I'm recommending finger two on that D flat, because you're gonna need pinky and finger one, probably for both of these because they go pretty pretty quickly and it goes into the, rip, the beginning because it's almost a loop so you want to do practice just that get that clear and then try to put it together with two hands which would sound so there what's important is to be able to switch because you have a little bit of a jump and it sounds pretty cool because this chord 
it's a B flat minor seven, and then you have A flat a major, and then into the G flat at nine. So whoever played this or I guess wrote it, it's, it's I think pretty has a good sense of how to use harmony. It's a simple part, but at the same time very effective. So let me go ahead and play it a couple times with a metronome, so you guys have an idea. So it will be. Important to probably do it with the Rhodes. It's an electric type of uh, electric piano type of sound, and also probably if you have a sustain pedal, use a sustain pedal on. It's going to make it a little bit more even. But pretty song, easy part. If you are already familiar playing with uh, black keys, and if not, you should. So definitely check the video that we're going to post in the description so you can practice all of your major at nine chords.